Hi, this video tutorial I will cover wrapper class. For uh, primitive data type byte, corresponding uh, wrapper class is byte. For primitive data type short, corresponding wrapper class is uh, short. For primitive data type int, corresponding uh, wrapper class is integer. For primitive data type long, corresponding wrapper class is long. For primitive data type float, corresponding wrapper class is float. For primitive data type double, corresponding wrapper class is double. These wrapper classes are uh, subclasses of number class. Number class is abstract class. For primitive data type boolean, corresponding wrapper class is boolean. For primitive data type char, corresponding wrapper class is character. Number, boolean, character. These classes are subclasses of uh, object class. And all these wrapper classes are belongs to java.lang package. These wrapper classes wrap the primitive in an object. Often the wrapping is done by the compiler. If you use the primitive where an object is expected, the compiler boxes the primitive in its uh, wrapper class for you. Similarly, if you use a number object, when a primitive is expected, the compiler unboxes the object for you. Big decimal, big integer, atomic integer and atomic long. These are uh, some more wrapper classes which are available in Java. These wrapper classes are subclasses of uh, abstract class uh, number. Abstract class number is subclass of uh, object class. Big decimal and uh, big integer are used for high precision calculation. Atomic integer and atomic long are used for multi-threaded applications. There are three reasons uh, we might use a number object rather than the primitive data type as an argument of method that expects an object to use constants defined by the class such as uh, min value and max value to use class methods for converting values to and from other primitive data types for converting to and from strings and for converting between number systems and uh, this is about uh, wrapper class and uh, thanks for watching